Yo, what's up guys? My name's Mike McDonald, otherwise known as Get High With Mike, and I like to do massive jumps. If you want to jump high, you've got to ride fast, hold your edge right until you take off, carve against the pull of the kite, and have a nice explosive pop or takeoff. So the good news is that we've got an app to measure all of that. Wait, what? That's right. So today's video is all about doing massive jumps. We're gonna look at three ways to measure your jumps, using data from your jumps to jump higher, the most common mistakes people make with their jumps, super important, live onboard coaching with the Surfer app, and having multiplayer boost-offs with your buds, and more. So guys, this video has got chapters, and you can skip to the chapters that interest you using the timeline below. Meow. So the Surfer app is my method of choice for measuring my jumps. You can get the app on your Android or iPhone for free. You can use the app in a waterproof pouch or in the board mount, or you can measure your jumps with just your Apple Watch. That's right, with the pro version of Surfer app, you can get live accurate jump height measurements right with you on the water and you don't need anything else to make it happen. How cool. So Surfer is currently working on Android watch support as well, but it won't be available for another few months. So Android users, stay tuned. So using data from your jump insights to jump higher. So I've been working closely with the Surfer team and we've combined years of data with years of experience to determine the factors that help you jump super high. And now you can measure those factors using the pro version of the Surfer app. So like I said, if you want to jump high, you've got to ride fast, hold your edge right until you take off, carve against the pull of the kite, and have a nice big pop. So the Surfer app records this data about every single jump you do. It measures how fast you're riding when you're edging. It measures your edge angle during your approach and during your takeoff. It measures your heading, which is the direction you're going relative to the wind. So your heading affects your speed, which in turn affects how much induced wind you create, which in turn affects how much lift you create and how high you will jump. But that's not all. The Surf app also measures the direction you're jumping in, how many rotations you did, and more. So you used to have to spend years of time on the water practicing and figuring out what works to help you jump high and what doesn't. But now you can get accurate objective feedback that's going to help you improve your kiting and you can eliminate the guesswork. I'm so, so excited about it. So these features are called Jump Insights and they're part of Surfer Pro. So you can get the Surf app for free before these pro features are cost just a few bucks per month. And I highly recommend giving it a bash. There is a two week trial and yeah, get the Surfer app using the link down below. The most common mistakes people make with their jumps. The first mistake people make is not edging enough. Actually, the first mistake people make is riding with the wrong kites. Now, if you want to jump super high, I highly recommend getting on a bow or delta shaped kite like the Core XR7. It's going to help you jump super massive and give you really nice, soft, silky smooth landings. Guys, love my XRs. But back to edging. If you're not riding on edge, you're not going to make the power you need to jump high. In order to edge well, you need to lean into your harness, Put your board in between you and the kite, push your heels into the pads, and pull your toes towards your shins. This will lift the toe side part of your board out of the water and increase your edge angle. You can measure your edge angle with the Surf app. The greater your edge angle, the more resistance you will have on the water and the more power you will be able to hold down. So when you're using the board mount, the phone is measuring the angle that you're edging at. So for example, when you're riding flat, you're gonna end up with zero degrees edge angle. When you're riding with 45 degrees, it's gonna look like this. And with minus 45, such as after your takeoff when the board's coming behind you, it's gonna look like this. Pretty cool, right? The second mistake people make is losing their edge before they take off. If you lose your edge before you take off, you will lose the power you've generated. Every time you lose your edge, you'll be able to see it in your pop chart. The third mistake people make is losing their edge during their takeoff causing them to go downwind instead of going straight up and nice and high. You can see that the board has a really low edge angle for an extended period of time in this pop chart. The fourth mistake people make is taking too long to take off. When you do this, you lose all the power that you generated. 
So you want your takeoff to be rapid. This pop chart shows a rapid, steep change in my edge angle. If your takeoff process is too slow, your pop chart will look more like this, with a more gradual flipping of your board. Now the fifth mistake that people make is riding too much upwind. When you ride upwind, you create drag on the water and this slows you down. Because you're riding slowly, you will have a lower induced wind and thus a lower apparent wind. You will therefore generate less lift and won't be able to jump very high. The surf wrap measures your heading, otherwise known as point of sail, which is your direction relative to the true wind. I believe that the ideal heading for jumping high is approximately 90 degrees to the wind, or two or three degrees upwind of that. This is called beam reach. So your heading, otherwise known as your point of sail, but more simply put, the direction you're going at relative to the true wind is determined by your weight distribution over your board. All right, so I want you to stand up with me. So what I want you to do is straighten your front leg and bend your back leg. So this is a stance that we use when we want to ride upwind. So how much weight is on your front foot and how much weight is on your back foot? Let's try lift up that front foot. Pretty easy, right? because most of the weight is already on our back foot. So when you're riding like this with a straight front leg, the front of the board lifts out of the water, the back of the board is being pushed into the water, and that points the board upwind and you go sailing upwind, which is awesome if you wanna go upwind, but it's terrible if you want to jump high. I'm gonna give more info on this later in my how to edge video. But yeah, guys, super crucial information and just scratching the surface for you. Ow. So the surf wrap measures your heading and your speed on approach of every single jump you do. So now having heard this, you might want to ride super fast in order to jump high, but I just want you to keep in mind that more speed and more power is only good if you can control it. So ride within your limits. It doesn't help if you ride fast, but then you mess up your takeoff, then you won't go that high. So always stay in control. All right, live onboard coaching. There is no faster way to learn than by getting accurate feedback about what you're doing right away as fast as possible. So with live onboard coaching, the app is gonna tell you to go faster, edge more, go less upwind and more. So forget about all your friends giving you conflicting and misleading information. Now you can get accurate real-time feedback that's gonna help you improve your kiting. I'm only going to jump when my onboard coaching tells me that my speed and edging are good. It's a great technique, a good speed, a good approach angle, and a good pop angle. This is a beginner job. As you can see with this data, I didn't go in fast enough, I didn't edge enough during my approach, and I didn't hold my edge during my takeoff. So guys, you can get accurate, real-time onboard coaching with the Surfer app, and it's gonna help you do massive jumps. Ow! So if you want to get onboard coaching, measure your edging, or have multiplayer boost offs with your buds, then you're gonna wanna get the Surfer board mount. So the surfer guys have told me that stock is extremely limited. So if you don't want to miss out, then be sure to order it today using the link down below. And by the way, this thing is practically indestructible. Ta-da! And you secure it to your board with a leash, so you've got nothing to worry about. Ow! All right, multiplayer boost offs with your friends. Guys, how fun is it to have boost offs with your friends? Everybody thinks that they're going the highest, but now you can get accurate real-time data on who's jumping the highest. So you start recording your session in multiplayer mode. Then you add your friends to the game and hit the water with your mates.
So your friends don't have to have Surfer Pro or the board mount for it to work. You can also add users who are non-pro users and users who are not using the board mount, such as guys using the, the wetsuit pouch or the Apple Watch. But guys, super cool feature, and I can't wait to be having boost offs with my mates in Cape Town this season. Ow! So if you're worried about taking your phone with you on the water, don't be, because we've been using the Surfer app with smartphones for the, all of our kiting competitions in the Big Air Kite League, and we've never broken, damaged, or lost a smartphone. I know I was scared too, but honestly, once you get riding with it, you forget it's even there, and trust me, you're not gonna lose it. Just get a really good case, and I recommend getting this case. Pro tip. Make sure you get a really good case or strap for your Apple Watch so that you don't lose it. Because when we crash kiting, super easy to lose your watch. And I recommend the Spigen Rugged Armor case. That's the one that I've ordered. So another nice feature of the Surfer app are these super cool personal insights. The Surfer app is collecting heaps of data about all your sessions and you can view these awesome personal insights. I actually really like this feature. For example, here I can see how many hours I've logged on each of my kites or my maximum height on each of my kites. You have access to more than 10 metrics and epic filters to find out the data you want to find. It's so sick! All right, so what's more to come? So you already get these amazing features with Surfer Pro and there are more features coming. So you can get the Surfer app for free and use it to measure your jumps and way, way more. Now, if you wanna get the Pro version, it's only a few bucks a month and there's a free two week trial so you can try it out and see if you like it. I highly recommend it. Get it using the link down below. Now guys, if you've enjoyed this video, most importantly, be sure to share it with your friends. And second of all, if you want to support my channel, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. And if you've got any questions, just drop them in the comments. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Hit this button over here to subscribe. And I've made another video for you and I think you're going to love it. Hit that one over here. Muchos pesos. Adios.